So I got my password from, uh, so my password was emailed to me and this would be my um, login ID, I mean through which I would be, this would be my address through which I would be logging in through SSH and uh, my username would be root. So let me install quickly, it will just take a minute. So, uh, how do you log in into Putty? So, the SSH uses a 22 number port. I would copy my IP address and press enter. So, just accept it. And this is my uh, password. Copy it. So, log in as root and enter the password. So, um, it would ask to uh, enter so it would ask it would force you to change your password so it is asking for my current password which is this long uh, password i would enter it and it's asking to enter a new password so i would enter some easy password yes my password is installed and uh, so they so the system is pre-configured to start installing next cloud as I had selected the next cloud option, so the server is already pre-configured, you don't have to do much. So it's asking us to okay to configure own cloud or next cloud. I would just type yes. And would you like to use own cloud or next cloud? Like we had decided before, we would be going ahead with next cloud. So type in next cloud. And uh, it is asking to create a a username and password for the admin login. I would type in Quetty. It's asking to, okay, it's based on a dictionary word, so it is not accepting. I would type in, yeah, it's too short. This is also a dictionary word. Um, okay. Uh, this is also a dictionary word okay so um, so now our admin our password is set next what we have to do is it's asking you to select uh, where your files would be stored uh, normally uh, on a server slash var slash www dot uh, so this www is a public folder so in case you are storing all your data in www um, it, it it will be very prone to hacking I mean um, I'm not a hacker myself but uh, on security purpose you should not um, you should not store all your data at this www location you should move it to slash mnt or any other location other than this location so uh, to begin the installation, I am starting with uh, this default location. We can change it later. Uh, yes, now my uh, DMS is set up. So, our DMS is done. So, now um, if you have linked this IP to your own. Uh, hosting or your domain name uh, anything xyz.com you just go to your browser and type in the domain name or here in this case I would type in my IP address so my IP address goes here and voila it uh, see so this is my uh, so this is a portal for my own if, if, I, if I have a company this is a portal for my employees where they can share email they can have video chats they can communicate among themselves so uh, it's it is quite a tool to have in your uh, enterprise so i would log in with admin and my password was this test so uh, in case you are having this for your company 
make sure you take SSL uh, connection. So you have to buy a SSL um, in case you don't want to spend uh, a lot on your SSL. I would suggest you to go with um, Komodo free SSL. So there's a different procedure how to add but this is something you can get for free and um, you should 10 minutes yeah and you can get a green logo here I mean a green symbol and all your data would go through an encrypt, uh, encrypted channel yeah so we are here in our admin panel so this is my dashboard um, so basically this is just a DMS you would have a place to upload files that's all as of now uh, to, so I would go ahead and I would create some users for my company so user 1 will be let's say um, uh, alpha so I would uh, add a group my group name let's say it's a HR group I have created a group and I would and alpha to HR a password uh, we can keep it anything and two three four group HR group create so alpha has the password of one two three four so I will create it next I would uh, create another beta same password HR group add another group uh, let me say uh, my marketing group so um, let's add tango um, password keep it same marketing group and then let's add charlie password we'll keep it same marketing yeah so uh, we have our team here and uh, so, uh, so this portal does not allow users to create account on their own so the admin has to create it uh, make note of it now time comes to add our application so just like a WordPress um, portal WordPress system there is a marketplace this also has a small marketplace where you can uh, go ahead and uh, install some some features into this portal which will actually make it um, more fun to use so we'll go to our admin panel and in our admin panel let's check one by one what all do we have so these are all themes and encryption so basic settings you can tweak around I'm not going into detail So here I can add more apps, um, some apps like I said, um, some video chatting apps, some development apps. Let's go with authentication and authorization. Um, two factor OTTO, I'm not sure what this is, so we're not going ahead with all this stuff, customization, um, direct menu, I'm not sure what this is, I would just enable it. And this is like um, once we have a lot of apps, this um, this drop down would get filled up. So I think we can enable this. Uh, it would make it will make it easy for the employees to move around to play around with their apps. File management. So I would enable a few. Oh, we have OCR here. And the book reader. One, two, could not be found. Come on, line. Ah, shit. I don't. I don't know what um, what problem this is. Never faced faced this kind of issue before. Very cannot be installed because the following dependency not fulfilled. Found. Oh, we'll check this later. So 
these are some office applications and social and communication. Under social and communication, you would find uh, we can create a list of contacts, video call, yeah, and um, we have email system where um, in case you have your own email management system, it can be uh, linked. So your let's say your Outlook or your Gmail can be linked to this portal. Yeah, I think that should be enough for now. I would uh, log out. So now let me log in as a HR. So my name would be Alpha and password is going to be four. What? A L P H A two three four. Oh yeah, it is case sensitive. So you need to have the caps lock on for A. Now. Uh, so I can see here I have files video calling option so under video call I can add people and have a video call session with them uh, so once you have linked your email account you can access it all here you don't have to go to another application to do it and there is a list of contacts which you can add so that's it I think um, this is quite a good portal to have um, for your company for a uh, secured uh, document management system you can share documents you can uh, classify them uh, you can create, uh, this is cool, you can create a uh, spreadsheet. Oh, where did that file go? Okay, I'm creating a open, open source spreadsheet. Yeah, it is, it has been created. I can go Okay, access denied for me. I have to check the settings actually. There would be a lot of, uh, it, it would require a lot of time for you to uh, set, this, set this up before you uh, go live. So I would enable some modules which I think um, was creating the problem. I would enable every possible option we have here. We are facing problem with this one, right? Uh, this touch wood, I hope this does, does not create a problem again. Ah, oh, crap. Never mind this one. This should not be a problem for you because um, the earlier before recording this video when I had set this up, I, I didn't face this problem. So, uh, I, I think I might, might have done something wrong or some setting might have gone wrong. But, um, you... For you, it should be fine. I think that is enough. Uh, so go ahead and um, do your own DMS for your own company. Thank you for watching.